In this video, I'd like us to talk about a workaround to positioning subtitles and captions from a Camtasia project outside Camtasia. Hi, my name is David and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get any value from this video, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video and sharing it with your friends. I've decided to do this tutorial because uh, this is uh, an identical scenario in Camtasia 2020. This is Camtasia 2019. And there's no option to position subtitles and captions uh, where we want. For example, uh, we have the captions down here. You cannot move this caption up to this section or to the side if you have any lower that graphic down here. What happens is that, uh, for example, I have a graphic down here that maybe introduces me uh, David Bogua and maybe YouTuber. You see the name YouTuber is, is hidden by the caption. This is uh, not good, especially when you create subtitles or videos are produced with the subtitles permanently banned in or as, a co as, a, or as an open caption video. So what I'd like to say is that this is something I believe uh, Camtasia or TechSmith will improve on so that when uh, somebody is working on a particular subtitle like this, then you have the option to do like placement from this section. You can place uh, the text up to the side top anywhere you want, uh, either using X or Y configurations. That would be a good thing. Something else that would be important is that having uh, characters uh, per line uh, and also knowing how many uh, characters per second we have and all that. So that's out of the way. Now I want to show you how you do it. So the first thing that we need to do in this particular project, we'll need to produce this particular project. So let's say uh, I'll just, uh, since I've created this, uh, the subtitles, you can come up to captions and export the captions and you'll either get uh, this uh, couple of options here, SRT or SMI. This is somewhere else I think they need to improve on. The export captions, uh, they add maybe something like web video text tracks, that is VTT or ASS, advanced substation alpha. Uh, that would be a good thing. But let's say you save this as your SRT. Uh, and since I already have it uh, down here, uh, I can just click on that and say save. Yes, I want to replace it. Okay, so I've already saved that. So I can just uh, do away with this particular timeline. Uh, the captions, let's just delete that. And then what we're going to do, uh, remove all empty tracks, we're going to just uh, produce this particular file as it is. So you share, local video, produce, next, mp4, next, size, video, audio, uh, everything I believe is okay here. Just click on next, next. And then we just uh, export this particular project. Now, the reason why you might need to do this is because lower that graphics need to be seen, or you may need to just adjust the position of the subtitle so that it doesn't obscure any relevant information that the viewers might miss out on when uh, the captions are at the bottom. Now, that once that that is done, then you can just copy our video. Let's just copy it. Let's say copy. Uh, and we can just add this uh, to our folder here. Just paste it in. Now, once you do that, uh, since uh, as I've mentioned, we are going to be doing this outside Camtasia. Just close out Camtasia. And then we're going to open an application called IGSub. And IGSub is a free application that is uh, cross-platform and it's open source. Uh, the unfortunate thing is not being updated since December 7th, 2014. Uh, which is a very bad thing uh, for any application in this day and age. But I hope that someday uh, the owners of this particular free application will come back and update it. But it works on Windows, OS X and Unix, or maybe Linux if I'm not so wrong. So what we need to do is get IGSub. Just uh, type it in here. IGSub. Once I do that, uh, we are now going to start opening our files. Now come to open subtitles and you'll navigate to the folder with your subtitle. Uh, mine is already here. Just click on it 
and click on open and you can also check all the supported formats that are available uh, ASS, SSA, MKV, MKA, MKS, .sub, .srt and uh, .ttxt and .txt so we have a .srt subtitle file just click on open once you click on open uh, it's going to actually populate and you can also notice that this also has a beginning and an end and then uh, the CPS and then the style uh, and then the text uh, appears here so the next thing you need to do you need to go and open up the video just click on open video and let's say we need uh, to get the, the correct video the one with the lower third graphic so let's just adjust this with lower third graphic just click on open once you click on open it's going to populate now if I actually just move this particular uh, slider you'll notice that uh, the subtitles are small uh, uh, not maybe what we might uh, want for this particular project if we were going to produce it now what you need to do or what we need to do first is we need to configure uh, the how the subtitle look like so from this particular pane uh, what you need to do is just click on edit and once you click on edit uh, let's remove the shadow that's behind here and this is the preview let's uh, get this down to zero so that's zero uh, it's gone and then we'll need to add an opaque box behind this let's click on that and we have a box if you click inside here uh, that's done and then we'll need to bump up this maybe to something like uh, uh, a font of a size 36 let's just do that and once we do that and when we click on apply our subtitles uh, will get bigger so you see if uh, this was maybe like uh, what you see in the news this would be uh, blurring or hindering people from seeing what is going on in the background as it has already obscured this particular graphic so once you do that just click on ok uh, and by default the alignment is at number two uh, which is at the bottom down here so you just click on ok and uh, once you're satisfied with that uh, that's good to go so we can just double click on the first line and there's nothing it's obscuring that we might need to work on the second one oh and the third one that's empty and then the fourth one here is where my the lower third graphic comes in and if we uh, actually play hi my name is david from freelancer insights so we'll notice uh, the lower third graphic comes in at around here so we might decide we want this particular subtitle to this uh, come to this side so for example if you just uh, hover here you can see that there are coordinates uh, x and y coordinates and if you just double click this moves here but now you'll notice that it moves out so one thing you need to know is that maybe positioning it up here would be better so let's just double click up here somewhere there and the subtitle goes up there so the information down here is not obscured and the information up here is not obscured and you also get the position and all that i wish it was easier to know the exact position that you're going to place it but you might need to work with these particular numbers and change them to your liking so this is still available let's say uh, we can actually just come in here and say we copy this for uniformity uh, in the next line and then we just come at the start right click and paste so it moves up here so we've taken that out of the way so let's say the lower third was only at the start of this particular uh, video and there's nowhere else if there's anywhere else this was available you can move it where you like it and uh, as for this one you can also move it to the side since the text is a little bit small now the final thing we need to do we need to file save us uh, save subtitle us we need to save it as the advanced substation alpha because now the final process is to permanently ban the subtitle in our video our Camtasia video now the unfortunate thing is we have to ban and uh, the more you ban uh, from let's say Camtasia you export the file uh, and then you go into Handbrake where we're headed next once you save that and we can close this out uh, if you open our folder we now have the ASS advanced substation alpha and then there's this one uh, IG sub uh, sub rip text we need this particular file and this particular file 
So what we now need to do is open Handbrake. Let's just open up Handbrake. And once you open Handbrake, what you need to drag in is our video. Let's just drag it in and it's going to populate. And you can see everything is where it should be. So let's say we start off by checking out the dimensions. They are okay with, okay, filters, videos. I believe that uh, this particular quality of around 22 is good. You can do two pass encoding if you like, uh, the audio and then the subtitles. Now we need uh, to import the subtitle. Just click on that. And uh, the format supported are .srt, .ssa and .ass. So let's just check out the one we want. We need the first one, IG sub advanced substation alpha subtitles. Just click on that and click on open. And once I click on open, you'll need to ensure you tick on ban in. So that is available. I wish we could see the name here. So I hope the guys at Handbrake can do this uh, a little bit better. Now, once you do that, uh, we can just say, uh, change the name here to MP4. Uh, MP4. And once you click that, uh, and you've already selected the folder where you need the video or the files to go, or let's just click on browse. And let's say it goes to the desktop. And let's say we need it here. Uh, we cannot call it final because it's going to have the subtitles permanently banned in the video. So there we have it. And we can also move to the end to see if it's uh, in the MP4 container. So that's okay. And once we do that, just click on start and code. Depending on the length of your video and the uh, processing power and RAM of your machine, this may take a long or a short time. So kindly bear with it. And you can already see it starting to pop out down here. So this is more or less like uh, a, a three-step process from Camtasia to IG Sub and then to Handbrake. So let's just check it out. Uh, if we just double click on this particular file. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com. Now you can appreciate that the lower that graphic comes in, and the subtitle comes at the top. This is permanently banned in the video. Uh, so if we keep playing, Com, well, we believe you should never notice that the other subtitle also comes This video up, is an update comes back to down. my video on how to uh, easily so download YouTube to, subtitles uh, work on that. as transcript. Now, basically, that's a workaround to working with cam captions that need positioning in Camtasia without using Camtasia, uh, since this is not yet available in Camtasia. Uh, and it's using Camtasia to create maybe the subtitles, IG sub uh, to uh, create ASS subtitles with positioning, text placement, and anything else you need, like the background color that I set uh, and everything else that's uh, good with that. And then finally, uh, permanently burning in the subtitle into you, your Camtasia video. So that's a step-by-step -step process. And I hope that this is going to help anyone that publishes videos with open captions uh, from Camtasia. And I hope that they are going to improve on that particular uh, section to give us the placement options where we can actually place the subtitles where they need to be. The Camtasia background uh, for the subtitles is usually very, very good uh, with a good transparent, uh, like a, a semi-transparent black that really uh, pulls in the eyes when you're working on that. That would be a good thing. Uh, and just to say it, it is a long time coming because it's uh, a request that has been made by many Camtasia users. And I hope that at least maybe come 2021, they're going to give that to give us that as an update. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you've learned something from this video. Kindly subscribe to the channel, like the video and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching this video.